Hey there, welcome back. Today I'll be doing this look. Hope you like it. If you do, keep on watching. As usual, I'm going to start by prepping my face with my favorite moisturizer from Revolution Skincare. I've spoken many times about this product. I have combination to dry skin and this product really makes my skin feel good. I like to take my time massaging it into my skin, focusing on my dry areas which are around my nose and brow area. Now I'm priming my skin. This is the only primer I use. A little goes a long way and my face becomes really smooth after it. I kind of apply the product against the pore if that makes sense. I use concealer on my eyes as a base for the eyeshadow and I'm blending it with a damn beauty sponge. These mini sponges are so cute. From the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm using this shade as a guide to shape a little the eye before going in with darker colors. Now with a smaller brush I'm going in with the darkest two colors in this palette and I'm going to cover the whole mobile lid. And repeat the same thing to the under eye area. And continue to elongate the eye and blend everything together. At this point blending is very important. Keep blending until there is no harsh edges and don't worry too much about the mess and fallout. This is one of those looks that get ugly before it gets beautiful. I continue to darken the outer V of my eye. Basically, if you're following and you're looking like a panda, you're on the right track. So I'm just going to go ahead and shape up my under eye with make eye makeup remover on a cotton pad. If it isn't super clean, don't worry much. We'll cover it up with concealer later on anyway. Moving on with the eyeshadow, I'm going to apply the purple eyeshadow with my finger from the Jaclyn Hill palette on my eyelid. You don't have to use your finger, a brush will do too. Then I blended a little bit the edges with a clean brush. I'm going to apply some glitter primer to my eyelid just where I had the purple eyeshadow before. A little goes a long way. I'm now applying mystical glitter powder basically where I've put the primer before. Mm -hmm. 
Then on top of it, I'm going to put angelic glitter flakes. They are amazing and very lightweight. If you want to get your hands on these glitters or the primer, these are from Kaima Cosmetics. I do have a code for you guys. Enter code MUASHER at your checkout and you'll get 10% off your bill. No, I'm just lightly removing any flakes from the crease area so the glitter is only on my lid and looks more neat. I'm applying my favorite eyeliner from Bourjois. Then I'm going to get a little bit creative with the liquid eyeliner. I'm starting at the inner corner and elongate that part just a little. Then it looks like I'm going for a normal wing and very thinly elongate the outer part. Before it dries completely and this stuff goes dry, goes dry really quickly, I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow with a small flat brush and kind of blending it into the eyeshadow to create a V shape and fading it into a little into the brow bone so it doesn't end harshly. I hope I explained well but this wasn't easy to explain into words. Now as usual I'm going for Denasia Beauty False Eyelashes some mascara to finish up the eyelashes this is the brow pomade from BH Cosmetics I've had this for years and it's still creamy didn't crack unfortunately is discontinued my brows are already quite thick, so I don't really need to go out of my eyebrow shape. However, I do try to make them alike as much as I can. <laughs> now I'm just going to stop talking for a while and let you watch the whole process in a faster pace.
Okay, so now I'm going to start doing my face and I'm starting from the concealer to shape my under eye furthermore and also covering any dark areas and highlighting where it needs to be highlighted. I like use a cream contour um, however I I should have done it done this after the foundation you'll see why later I started to blend with a damn beauty beauty sponge but I decided to switch for a brush as it, it does the job better in my opinion especially to blend the contour This is the foundation I am currently using. I like it and it stays well on my skin throughout the day. It's medium to full coverage and it took all the contour work I had done before, as I said. So I just reapplied it where I needed the most and just added a little bit on the sides of my nose with whatever is left on the brush. I love this highlight from Wet n Wild. With a mini fan brush, I am going to apply it on my cheekbones, bright bone and a little on the tip of my nose and the bridge. With a different brush, I applied some highlighter to the inner corner of my eyes as well. I don't always use lip liner, especially if I'm going for a liquid lipstick, which is the majority of the time. But today I felt like adding a little lip liner to define my lips. Now this is my favorite liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild, it's called Rebel Rose 
goes well with any look it's a little bit like a mauve nude color goes well with browns and pinks and purples yes perfect And to finish this look, I'm going to apply some blush from the BH Cosmetic Blush Palette. I just really do a swirl on the colors I like and apply those. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to sub like and subscribe. I do makeup looks that are easy to follow and recreate, also I share some tips and review makeup products when I have something new. Thank you so much for watching, till the next time, bye bye.